that's music is the heart and soul of the community, especially the African American people. But as you see, you have all types of ethnicities out here now that are enjoying the concert. Nothing quite like some live gospel music to ignite hope back into our communities. And that's what gospel music does. It gives you hope. It gives you hope. It uplifts your soul. And it makes you feel good deep within. Independence Mall was filled tonight for Gospel on Independence, a free concert and Wawa Welcome America staple. It's really part of Wawa Welcome America's commitment to creating platforms for diverse voices to be heard. We want our festival to be inclusive. We want it to be um, a festival that everyone can see themselves in. And the mall was rocking. Those who came brought their own chairs but barely used them. The musicians, the singers, the choirs on hand had people on their feet all night long. Hey, come on, put your hands on. The music is exuberating. It's wonderful gospel. It has history behind it. And I really appreciate that they were able to bring this to us and to bring it to us free. We definitely had to be there for several reasons to get our praise on. First of all, to enjoy something without a mask. It was a win-win for Yolanda Booker of Germantown, who sings in a church choir herself. But tonight was all about taking in the experience. <laughs> Uplifting, uh, marvelous. You hear a lot of local artists as well as even national or regional or what have you. And we're all speaking about the Lord and just, you know, having a wonderful time. And it was a beautiful and spirited way to kick off the 4th of July week here in Philadelphia. In Old City, Stephen Fisher, NBC 10 News.